speaking of the lymphatic system, thanks for all your comments. It's easier for me to respond to people when they make videos. Text is nice. I type. I do a lot of typing on Facebook. Um, my lymphatic system has been overly acidified as of two days ago. And I am now, just by talking about it, I'm creating DNA. I'm telling the DNA to create those bacteria. So be cognizant of that. But to tell the story, this this node, this tonsil, whatever it was, adenoid, I don't know, but the lymphatic discharger had gotten fat, thick with acidic lymph, with nowhere to go if only to damage the rest of the inner throat. So the body knows, don't put it out there because everything else will absorb it and you'll get sick. So the body's like, ah, do me. And I'm like massaging it and all this, and it's like this and that, soaking in the tub and the salt water, inside, outside massage at one, aww. But like, I fucking go and pick up a green apple and I'm chewing it and the juice is dripping down my throat and I've got all this leftover chewed apple and I just kind of let it slide back down onto the swollen gland and the swollen gland discharges all this lymph. You can kind of taste it. I didn't even want to get it anywhere. I mean, I didn't know. I just noticed it. It happens all the time. You notice your, your throat is discharging in the form of saliva or whatever, lymph. It's all lymph, lymph, saliva, is kind of, it's lymph, which is just like the body's waste system. So it discharges all this lymph, which like attaches to the chewed apple and making it less acidic and less damaging on the throat. And I was like, whoa. So I, I, sw I was like, well, well, I swallowed it. And I was like, oh, that was probably really toxic acid. I should have spit it out. Should I spit it out? I'm like wondering, body, do you need it? Do you not want it? So I did it again. And I went to the bathroom and you know, I, I like washed it with the apple and it just like discharged all this liquid that was like, it tasted metallic, kind of like bacteria. You can kind of taste, it's like sharp. It's like the taste of cold metal. Like it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really have taste, but it's like, it does. Um, did it again and like, spit it out but I didn't just spit it out I like my whole throat like came from behind like squeezed it out everything out like juiced it and it felt like I was vomiting out of my lymph node and, like I think the lymph node is next to it and feeds the lymph into the tonsil so I was like juicing my tonsil and it felt like I was vomiting out of my tonsil <laughs> and I just kept doing it and I was like I should make a video and let people watch me do this and I could but it was like just kept squeezing this acidic lymph out. I feel like a fucking million bucks. I mean, it's still kind of sore. It feels like a zit after you pop it. Like it's kind of sore. And I can tell it's not, there's still like lymph being put into it. And I'll juice it again later. Go down to the market and get a whole bunch of fruits and see what they do. I hear pineapple's really good in ginger. Very exciting. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's just alkaline product. I don't think. They say an apple day keeps the doctor away. All the all those people, um, I've got a theory that it's not just the more alkaline, the more of a release of toxin or lymph. I have a feeling that green apples, particular apples, are like really good for it. You can just feel the astringent nature, but they're not too acidic. Like pineapple is kind of acidic, but that might be good. I rip the tonsil open porously and uh, just dump fluid. I wish you could have seen the toilet bowl. It looked like vomit. Like all these green splots, yellowish splots. Couldn't tell if it was the acid or the apple. It was an awesome, man. I, I should have, I flushed it, you know? It was, it was a real spectacle.